Hey guys, how's it going? Today I have a collab video with one of my besties, Kiki Garcia. I will link her channel down below. We are OG YouTube friends. She's also a mom. She has three beautiful boys. Let me pull up one of her videos. I'll link her channel down below. I just love her. Um, I'm so happy she's getting back to YouTube. She just did like a follow me around Marshalls. She also does family videos and DIYs. So please check her out. Um, show her some love. We're doing a collab uh, on Dollar Tree because I was like, let's collab on something. Um, we both love Dollar Tree. So this is like three Dollar Tree trips. And I am in my pajamas and my quarantine flab, quarantine side boob and flab. <laughs> First thing I found, this is the Eco Tools Color Perfecting Minis. There's four little sponges in here. I think this is a great deal for a dollar. I use these for my concealer under my eye, but I don't think Eco Tools sponges last very long, so it's not like my sponge of choice. And I've been looking for hooks um, with suction cups. The ones that I had before, um, kept slipping so these are heavy duty suction cup hooks. So I'm gonna put these in my shower, um, one for my daughter's sponge and one for mine. Yeah, they look pretty good. Just has a suction in the back and then a hook. And then I have two cleaning products. These are both by Comet actually. I feel like something spilled. Um, this is the Comet Classic Multi-Surface Cleaner. Cuts grease and deodorizes. I'm gonna keep this in the kitchen. And this is a Comet with bleach. I use Comet to scrub toilets and the sink area. Then I got a box of tissues. These are the Scotty's brand. These are hypoallergenic and no fragrance added because I don't like the ones where they put lotion. There's 148 in here. This is for my daughter's room. I have never seen this at Dollar Tree. This is limited edition Laffy Taffy's in Gone Bananas. So I love like banana candy. I don't really like bananas, but I like banana candy. And um, I also like banana runs. And then I got two Pop Weaver microwave popcorns. Um, this is kettle corn. This is for me. If like I had a choice, I would get eat kettle corn over butter. And then this is for my daughter. because She doesn't like kettle corn. There's three bags in each and they're made in the USA. I'm wondering if the Laffy Taffy is vegan. It says it contains soy. It doesn't say it contains gelatin. Um, it's also made in the USA. And then I found one book. This is Allie Wentworth, Go Ask Allie, Half-Baked Advice and Free Lemonade. I swear she was on like Mad TV. I have to look it up. No, she was on In Living Color. That's where I remember her from. Okay, so it's an advice book with some anecdotes and probably a little bit about her life, but for a dollar. Um, once in a while, Dollar Tree will have pretty good books. And in my last Dollar Tree Blu-ray movie haul, someone commented that they were releasing their Blu-rays um, like the first to second week of juice so then I found some so I found the blu-ray of the Belko experiment I haven't seen it and I also haven't seen Battle Royale but um, I hear it's similar so it's produced and written by James Gunn and Sean Gunn is in it who's his brother who plays Kirk in Gilmore Girls and I love him so this will probably be like the next um, movie that I pop in because I've been wanting to see this and then I got another blu-ray this is playback featuring Christian Slater I haven't seen him in anything in a while it says some secrets should stay buried I've never heard of this um, this looks like a horror and then the rest of them are DVDs this is Richard Simmons love yourself and win I just love Richard Simmons so it's a motivational speech his personal introduction and testimonials and success stories from his students and then I found the girl in the photographs this was on Netflix but I didn't catch it I, I don't know if it's still on it. I believe this is Wes Craven's last movie he produced. Yeah, it says it's his final film. He didn't direct it though. Let me know if you guys have seen this, what you thought of it. And then I got two copies of The Devil's Candy. I said um, in the like my last haul that I was just going to be collecting for a 10k giveaway in the future. I think the last time I got Neon Demon. And I can't believe I found The Devil's Candy. Like I got the last two copies. This is a really good movie. If you guys have seen The Loved Ones, that's Sean Burns film. He did this one too and um, I think he has a very cool like horror style. And I'm saving one for a future giveaway. Next movie is also horror. It's called Inside Rachel Nichols. Oh she's in um, P2. 
Okay, I haven't heard of this one. So it looks like a pregnant horror movie. And then um, the last one I've seen, this is a holidays. It came with the slip cover. I like all of the shorts in it. I like Valentine's Day and I liked Easter and then Mother's Day was kind of weird, but it's just basically like horror shorts on each holiday. So they have Valentine's Day, Halloween, Father's Day, Mother's Day, New Year's, Christmas. Christmas has Seth Green in it, Easter, and St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day was really weird. So this is nice to have in my horror collection. And that is it for my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out Kiki's haul. I can't wait to see her video what she got. She loves DIY and like decorating and stuff. I hope she found like some cool stuff because she lives in Jersey and I live in Vegas. And every time she shows me what she gets at Dollar Tree, it's always like way cooler than what I find. But yeah, I think my tip for shopping at Dollar Tree is just go often because you never know what they're gonna get in stock. So please check out Kiki's video. I will link her video and her channel down below. She's just a beautiful soul and a really good friend. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.